Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to a John Chow screencast. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sync your audio with your videos. In my last Driving with John Chow episode, I recorded the audio and the video on separate devices. I used a GoPro to record me driving and I used a Tascam voice recorder to record my voice. So what I'm going to show you now is how to bring this together into one video. And I'm going to show you two methods. I'm going to show you a manual method for those people with iMovie or, or just a PC equivalent, a movie maker, something like that. So I'm going to show you the, the manual method of doing it. And I'm also going to show you a faster way of doing it, um, a more automated way. So let's begin with the, the manual way of doing it and how I was doing it before when I was using iMovie. So this, these are the, um, the files that I imported. So here, right here, this is the, the video file. And right here is the audio file. So what I do is um, I would just start a new project. So I'll go new project. We'll call this um, driving. And we'll just go OK. So now that I create a new project, I just take my driving here. I drop it into the timeline. And then I take the audio and I drop that into the timeline as well. Play. And what, what I want to do now is I want to zoom in on the video. And what I did was before I saw the video, I did a clap. And that is my, uh, I guess, the key. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the clap. And I'm going to, hold on, let me just delete that first. And I'm going to find where I did the clap. Okay, here we go. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in on that part there. On the, there I, can see the, I can see the two. Yeah, right there, these two here. Now, in this, and now I'm going to bring in the audio. And I can see, because the audio has a much lower noise flow, I can see my clap is right here, probably. So what I could do is I'm going to play that. Hey, everyone. Yeah, so you hear that right there. So what we do is we just simply line up the claps. Oh. All right, so we zoom in. We zoom in there, and you can see there's the the first no, and there's the second no. So all you gotta do is just move it in place, so they line up. And if you want, I could zoom in a little more to find out. To, there you go. To get a really. There you go, right there. Yeah, that's pretty much lined up. So let's take a look at it and see if they line up. Hey everyone. John Chow here from John Chow. Yeah, so there we go. Simple as that. So after you do that, the next thing is just to take the uh, the audio from the video and just turn it to zero. And now all you hear is the audio from the uh, from my task cam. So here's what it looks like. Hey everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com. Sounds so much better. And welcome to another episode. So that is the first way of doing it. It's a it's a little bit of you know moving things around, but it. It adds one extra step, but you know, it, it, it works. It works and it's a great way to get audio. And the second way to do it is or the automated way. Let me show you that right now. Now, if you're using a program like Final Cut Pro 10, like I'm using right now, or using uh, Adobe Premiere, the great thing about this program is that they can do it for you automatically. And here's how you do that. So this is the audio and this is the video. So what I do is I select both the audio and the video then I just right click and I just choose synchronize clip. And I just give it a new name. I just yeah, go pro synchronize clip. So just save that. And what, what it's doing right now is analyzing the clip, it's analyzing the video, and it's analyzing the audio, and it's gonna sync the two together. So here we have the synchronized clip that uh, it created. So all I can do now is I just take the new clip. And I just drag that to the bottom, into the timeline. And you notice it's just now just one, one synchronized clip. Both the audio is synced with the video. So I just show the inspector. And there we can see it. Yeah, because you can see the audio from the GoPro and the audio for the task cam. So if I were to play it. OK, here we go. Hey, everyone. Boom. John, John, and I just turned off the audio from the uh, Welcome to another episode of so Driving just, 
with John Chow. I you just may the audio from the GoPro and now it's synced up with the audio from the cam. The first thing. I, I turn it off. Well, so here is the uh, GoPro audio. Oh, it turns out uh, my Jaguar is in for certain. And here's the Tascam audio. Air conditioning fix. Apparently the AC stopped working. There you go. That's, I don't know uh, why. So that's basically how I do it. Uh, if Final Cut Pro is uh, is not free, like uh, I, I like iMovie that comes with the comes with your Mac, Final Cut Pro costs three hundred dollars. But uh, it's considering all the stuff it can do, it's uh, it's well worth the money. So and uh, if you can still do it the manual way, uh, like I said, it's that it's only add maybe a couple of extra minutes to your workflow. And so I don't have problem doing it the manual way or doing it the automatic way using Final Cut Pro. And so. If you want to improve the audio on your video, you know, get rid of the high noise floor that's usually is built into most mic, and you want to improve it, this is one way to do it. So really, really simple. Only a couple extra minutes of work, and if you're a Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, really no extra work at all, just because it does it for you automatically. Anyway, hope this helps you. Uh, that's it for now. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Uh, when, if you have any idea for any questions, uh, feel free to leave in the comment and I'll try to answer it. Or if you have an idea for a future screencast, leave it in the comment as well and uh, I'll see you how, how, what I can do for you. John Jeff with signing off. Please subscribe. Thank you for listening.